the dollar collapses, it's the end of the world. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Let me start right out by saying, when the US dollar collapses, our American way of life is over. The way we work, play, live, and interact with people. Our aspirations and dreams, our very future is going to be destroyed. Okay, that sounds a little over the top, you might be thinking. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I stack uh, silver and gold. I'm a prepper stacker. I'm preparing for what I believe is going to happen in my lifetime. I think it's even possible in this decade that we will see the dollar completely collapse. Do I want that to happen? Absolutely not. It's like wanting to have your house burned down so you can use your fire insurance. That's that's crazy. You know, getting an accident so that your automobile insurance isn't just sitting there <laughs> and you're wasting uh, the money that you put into it. No, that that's crazy. We don't want this to happen. But I think it's going to all fiat currencies fail. All of them. And to think that the U.S. dollar is going to be somehow immune from that end is insanity. Now, will silver uh, save us from a dollar collapse? I asked him that question. Will silver save us from a dollar collapse? No. What? No, there's not enough silver in the world to save the dollar. The dollar is so widespread and there's so much in the, you know, outside the United States and the, their money supply around the world. Um, it, there's no way this silver is gonna sa save the dollar or anything. Will it save it, it, us when the dollar fails? Oh, it might. Individuals will be able to use silver as currency. And, you know, a lot of ways that you never expected. But nothing can save the dollar. If the dollar collapses, it's the end of the world. I mean, it's, I hate to think what would happen to commerce in general if the dollar collapses. And it doesn't look like there are many people in Congress who really care. I think that there are too many reps, you know, representing us in Congress who just think, oh, that's, that's way above my pay grade. I don't, I don't need to think about such things. How about the banksters? I think they, they have ways of protecting their own wealth. I, I think, you know, if, you, if you're not dealing with the currency, you know, if everything's uh, pushing buttons on a computer, um, you're pretty well protected. You know, Bill Gates, yeah. Warren Buffett, they're still gonna be billionaires. I don't know. Wouldn't they be a hit by a dollar reset? Everybody's gonna be hit. People need to start paying attention to what they're paying for food. Each and every item that you're buying is going up rapidly and has nothing to do with energy. It used to be when energy went up and the, the cost of food went up because it had to be transported by truck. Um, that's not the reason. I mean, everything is going up because the dollar is starting to lose value. Mm. And there's no real good solution. I mean, you, you know, we're the world's reserve currency. So they can't destroy the dollar, okay? But every other currency in the world has at some time been revalued. Every mm. single currency in the world. And the, sweet, the Swiss say, oh no, we've never revalued. But they have. Mm. They've removed certain coins from circulation, which does the same thing. Every can't. currency in the world has been revalued except the dollar. You say they can't destroy the dollar. They can let it be destroyed if they keep the same policies. Well, they have to come up doing. with a, a new basket of currencies to replace the world reserve currency. But it's not going to be the silver and gold. It's going to be another fiat it'll solution. It'll be something like that. Yeah, digital they, fiat. They, that's, you know, that's what they would like is a digital currency because then there's no accountability. But and that's, a whole bunch of that's control. as bad. Yes. You know? Of course it is. The, the accountability is with the dollar. 
That's why the dollar's debt dwarfs the debt for the rest of the world. And um, I mean, they've tried every possible, but it's, it's no combination will work. So it's gonna have to be virtual. And that upsets me. You know, people need to think in real terms. You know, what is what is real money? What is real value? And that's the problem we have with the dollar because the dollar is a paper dollar. And, um, you know, the dollar index is based up basically on the euro. So it's not a real index. So it, it looks better because the euro is not a strong currency. So the dollar index doesn't collapse the way it probably would right. if it were based on other currencies around the world equally. I mean, the dollar index is 58% euro. That doesn't make any sense because the euro is not a strong currency. So the dollar index always looks better than the dollar really is. And what is, what's an indicator, a better indicator of what the dollar really is, is things you have to buy to stay alive. Things, you know, necessities of life are really determining what the dollar's value is. Thanks, Tim. So many uh, insights and things that I would love to be able to expand upon, like, you know, his perspective on central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. If it's fiat and not backed by anything, it's worthless. Even if it's digital, it's going to fail as well. The idea that you need physical, tangible assets, so important. And that the value of the dollar is directly related to the goods and services you can get with the currency. I also loved his point about people needing to pay attention to the amount of currency that they're needing to buy essential goods. Let's hope I'm wrong. Let's hope all of us uh, stackers, especially you prepper stackers out there, are wrong. And everything just keeps going the way it is. But until then, I'm still going to be stacking as much as I can. Yes, even with the high silver premiums. Yes, maybe it changes your buying ratio some. It should probably but you need to make sure that you're stacking wisely. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. This really helps to get the word out. And don't forget to subscribe because I know there are people out there right now that are watching this video, really enjoy hearing from Tim, and you haven't subscribed. You know who you are. <laughs> Please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Until next time, I hope your day. Okay.